Hi, I'm Sean Gannett, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about Rolle's Theorem. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. I'm given this problem right here, y equals sine of 2x, and we define the values of c that satisfy Rolle's Theorem on our interval from negative pi to pi. Now, luckily for us, our function is continuous from negative pi to pi and differentiable from negative pi to pi. We want to find f of a negative pi, and I found that for u, and that's a 0, as well as f of pi is also equal to 0. From there, we want to find the derivative to apply Rolle's theorem. So our derivative here, f prime of x, is equal to derivative of sine is cosine, cosine of 2x times the derivative inside, which is 2. We can rewrite that to be f prime of x is equal to 2 cosine is right out front of 2x. Now to apply Rolle's theorem, we need to set this equal to 0. So we take a 2 cosine of 2x and set it equal to 0. Divide both sides by 2, just kind of limit it to 2. Cosine of 2x is equal to 0. Now when does this happen? When does cosine of 2x equal to 0? And that occurs when x is equal to pi times n over 2 minus a pi over 4. And so the values that of x that are within our interval of that for different n values are negative 3 pi over 4, negative pi over 4, pi over 4, and 3 pi over 4. And so these values are the c values here of our function that satisfy Rolle's theorem. I hope this video was helpful for you, and if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math.